If you need to go 12 and 0 in My Team Unlimited, complete domination or spotlight challenges and more grinding services, go contact Rose NBA on Twitter. Link for those are in the description. Yo, what's going on guys? Witness back on NBA 2K22, My Team. We have another Hunt for Glory midweek content pack opening. This is camouflage. Not 100% sure what they even mean by that. But I know what the new cards are. I don't know what the recycled content in these packs are. I'm going to go through them uh, for the first time with you guys shortly. So make sure you like the video right now and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Clay Thompson. Signed Clay Thompson is in here. That is awesome. That is awesome. Again, I don't really understand the, the whole camouflage theme. If someone could explain that, that'd be dope. Um, we got Dennis Rodman, 75th, and a regular one as well. I understand camouflage for his, like, hair. Uh, we got Tim Duncan. We got a new John card. We got Tony Allen, who will be a great diamond always on defense. AK-47, that's solid. Kirk, we got Kirk. Uh, Heinrich is a new Amethyst. Chris Paul. Everything below is really not too worried about it. Marcus Smart was a good Ruby. Don't know how he plays anymore, how he sells, but... I mean, obviously, it's it's pretty much it's it's an opal or bust situation. You know, it's definitely galaxy opal or bust. Um, last time I opened up, we get that we get that dude straight away. Last time I opened up these packs for the soaring packs for Donovan Mitchell, I got like two pink diamond pulls. But man, the pink diamonds are not worth it. It's literally opal or bust, and we get a diamond right there, which is probably going to be Tony Allen. Weston, no, point guard. That's going to be John Stockton. The, uh, the mystic, yeah, mystic uh, John Stockton card. Surprise, it's not Tony Allen. Probably because Tony Allen would be better than this card, but that's all right, man. It is good to get something, even though it is kind of early. I have not had a Galaxy Opal pull since New Year's resolution packs. So it's been a while, and I open packs. Every single content drop, I open packs. So you think of the opals we've had in between. So we got a quarter of a million MT to go still. So plenty of packs to go. That's like over a 20 box. Um, but like I said, my last oh. Galaxy Opal pull was in the New Year's resolution packs. In between those, we got this we got regular just like 75th packs that had opals in them. That was one pack opening. We had Iced Out with Chris Bosch. That was another pack opening. Um, I opened up Super Packs as well. We opened up more 75th. We opened up the Kevin Durant Signature Series 1 as well. I opened up those packs twice. I had two pack openings of the, uh, of the Signature Series 4 packs. We opened up the Soaring Packs. We opened up the, the Beast Packs. There was a lot of packs we opened Prior to opening up um, New Year's resolution packs, there's been like like six to eight pack openings. I'll say all five five to seven pack openings it's been since the New Year's resolution packs. Since I've gotten the Galaxy Opal pool, it has taken about five to seven pack openings. That is a lot. That is a lot. I would love to end that that cold stretch in this pack opening right here. Um, I just hope 2K can, can clutch up for us. And even if it's just the standard Dennis Rodman, I will take it. You know, if I, I would prefer the 75th and I would sell him ASAP, flip all, come on. It's another diamond pool. This one's gotta be Tony, right? Weston, shooting guard nine, that is him from the Memphis Grizzlies. It is gonna to be Tony Allen, but one thing I did wanna talk about is the level 40 Yao Ming. If there is anyone watching this video right now that has that Yao Ming, can you please drop your thoughts in the comment? Is he good, is he bad? If you say good, why? If you say bad, why? Flip all, we got another shake, it's another diamond. But I have heard so many people saying different things. We get John Stockton again. So many different things about this Yao Ming. It's currently raining right now. I hope you guys can't hear that. But if you do hear that background noise, that is just rain hitting the roof. I do apologize. Um, but I've heard so many people say that this Yao isn't even that good. Like this Dennis, I've even, I even saw Shake and Bake say that this Dennis Rodman is better than Yao Ming already. So I don't know what, what 
you know, I haven't used Yao, I haven't seen any gameplay on Yao, I haven't seen that. So, yeah, please drop your comments down below what you think about Yao Ming because I hope I don't waste my time. Regardless, I don't think I will. You know, I think I'll be very happy to have that Yao Ming regardless. But um, speaking of, well, I saw we, we pulled the, the Emerald Ben Simmons just before, which reminded me of a few things NBA-wise. Apparently, literally, just before I started recording this pack, I like two minutes before I started recording, I saw the Bleacher Report. They, they made a tweet saying that James Harden apparently isn't that happy with the situation going on with the Brooklyn Nets. Apparently, he was annoyed at Kyrie Irving because of the whole part-time player situation. Apparently, that annoyed him, which I kind of get. That would be frustrating when you're trying to win a championship. So... Another diamond, god damn. But apparently James Harden, at the end of this season, is gonna test out free agency. He may come back, he may come back to Brooklyn, but he's gonna test out free agency and see what happens. I know that the, uh, the 76ers are gonna be proposing a trade to the Brooklyn Nets at the end of this season uh, for Ben Simmons. So Ben Simmons could end up in Brooklyn, James Harden in Philly, that would be a pretty nuts trade, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna start you're gonna start seeing some trades here soon, man. A few of them. You know, before All-Star Weekend. I mean it's only like two, three weeks until All-Star Weekend. So that's really exciting. That is like the best me per I, I personally think no. All-Star Weekend is the best time of the freaking year. I love it. So definitely excited for that. And there's gonna be possibly some blockbuster type trades. You know, before we're all star. Who is this that we get a Bulls Kirk again? Of course. We already pulled this man. I've opened up a lot of packs 2K. Got 120,000 MT left. So we've got about 12 packs left. Well, it just takes one pack. It just takes one pack 2K. You know, I mean, I'm, I've am been saying this every pack opening 2K lately. Like, it just takes one pack and you've got a happy customer. You got a happy customer right here. Oh, no shakes again. Luca Magic. I hope getting that Luca is a sign because I pulled Galaxy Opal Luca was the last Opal I pulled. The toughest thing hands down about opening packs is when I go on Twitter during my pack opening or after my pack opening, you know, and I haven't had a good pack opening, and my whole Twitter feed is people saying, you know, it took me three packs and I pulled him, you know, for just single cheese. And I'm just like, God damn it, I'm opening up a lot more than just one pack. A lot more. And that that is the toughest, toughest thing. I hate that man. I'm just cause I'm because I just get jealous. I just get jealous of the fact that I either haven't pulled or, or didn't pull, you know, a galaxy pull or whatever, but man, I got seven packs right here. Seven, that's it. That's if we're that's if we're lucky, seven packs. Yo, we, we were getting shakes. What is what is with that? Let me get Dennis Rodman, or I'll take a Clay as well. Clay is crazy. No shakes though. I don't know why 2K don't want to see me win them right now. Ah, uh, we got 50,000. Damn, come on. Not even a pink. Not even not even a pink. Come on. Oh, we do end up getting a pink. Thank you, 2K. That does spice it up a little bit. So I appreciate that, 2K. So make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel to give yourself some pack luck. Next time you open packs, you will have some pack luck if you do that. It's going. It's definitely going to be John Havlicek, right? 21 Bulls. Who is this? Which Jimmy is this? I. What the hell? It did not say he was in these pack. I mean, I'll take it. Jimmy, I think, I, I don't even know if he's over 100K or what his deal is, but okay, this got updated. So Kawhi is in here, Jerry West is in here, Jimmy is in here, Stat Scott is in here. These, this was not like this. This was not like this before. So there's not many Jimmys on the auction, but I can list him for 63,000, which is not a lot, but it's a decent chunk. Now we have the final four packs to go in this pack opening. I'd love at least one more pink diamond pull at the minimum. Nope. But obviously, you know what we're chasing 2K. You either bless up or you don't. 
I mean, it was good to get a pink, definitely. I will say that. I will say it was good to finally at least get a pink diamond. Even though it's only a 63,000 MT card, I'll still take it. Let me get rid of all of that. Come on. If I get, if, oh bro, if I clutch an opal, I may, I may shed a tear. All right, come on 2K. Imagine, imagine a happy customer right here. Come on. <gasps> yes. Oh my God, we actually freaking did it. There is no jealousy here. There is no jealousy needed today. Oh, big dubs 2K. Big dubs. Yo, like and subscribe for the pack luck. Let me get, let me get, let me get signed Clay or 75th Rodman. I don't want the regular Rodman, I'm not gonna lie to you. Easton, it's Rodman, come on 75th. Come on 75th, 75th. Please, 2K, please. Woo! Yes! Let's freaking go! 75th! What a pull! I will take that! Yo, that that is that is freaking gas as hell right now. That card art is so sick. Dennis Rodman, bro. I love Dennis Rodman. That was so dope pulling him. That was literally the last pack I could possibly afford without quick selling anything. That's nuts. There is only five Dennis Rodmans up. I'm going to sell him ASAP. Like as much as I want to, um, as much as, as much as, as much as I want to do his XP challenge, which would be huge. I got to get rid of him now. I got to, I really hope we can make some bank with him. I could definitely add some badges to him, or I could have added some badges to him. Let's see what he can take. I wanna see what we could upgrade, because um, I have got, you know, like Limitless, Chef, you know, some really great stuff, but what can he take? He mightn't be able to take that. He can take Lucky Sevens, Blinders, Circus Series. I could give him Limitless and Chef, and handles for days I could give him. Yo, I could have made this, man, dumb. I could have made this card hella cracked, but I wasn't feeling it. I was not feeling it with Rodman. I don't feel like he would probably sell. He could play small forward though. Maybe I could have done that and that would have been nice, but I wasn't feeling confident with that one. Yo, I told you we were due for an Opal and we clutched it. I don't know what it is, but if I get a Galaxy Opal pull, the two Opals I have pulled, in 2K22 have been on the final pack of my pack opening, which is crazy that that has happened twice. That's got my heart racing, man, for real. I thought Jimmy was the best pull we were going to get, but Dennis Rodman came in the clutch for sure. But I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, camouflage pack opening video. Like the video and subscribe to give yourself some pack luck next time you dive into some packs. And I'll catch you on the next upload. It's been witnessed. Hey, shit's play, man, I had to switch it up Yeah, I might lose a few, ask me if I give a fuck Hey, shit's play, man, I had to switch it up Yeah, I might lose a few, ask me if I give a fuck